Hey everybody. Hey everybody. I'm uh was on my way back from court. Saw Midtown Comics. There are several locations of this comic book store throughout the city. Uh, this is the one that's closest to my office, so I thought I would uh, go in and see if they got any cards. Hey, do you have any baseball cards? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It might have been from. Depends on the time of year, I think. Oh, this is, looks like this is the only one. Our kind of baseball. Oh, great. Uh, take a couple packs of that. Thanks. All right, so they had a couple packs of the archives which uh i was about getting ready to buy and then i saw down at the bottom near the floor they had a box of jumbo uh 20 tops 2016 and they were priced really high i thought i mean i don't know i don't know how much anything cost so i i i was about to pass them up they were they were 12 99 a pack which like i wasn't gonna spend money on and then the manager came over and said he would give me 50 percent off so it was like six bucks for 50 cards which i thought was pretty good so i put back one of the archives because i didn't need two of those and uh got these three tops packs so um i thought they'd be fun to take a look uh take a look at and see what we can get from Midtown Comics. As you could see from the video, it is pretty much only comics. Uh, let's just go in order here. So there's Series 1, Series 2, and Update. Uh, this is the 2016. I probably wouldn't have got these if at the time I remembered what they looked like. I'm not actually a fan of the 2016 design. Uh, which, we'll see why in a second. Um, my big problem here is that they, they put the logo, like, behind this meaningless stripe of graphic, and there's really no point to it. Um, but I do like, for some reason, this, this foggy mist uh, border that they've got going on, which is like sort of another unexplained thing, uh, in the, in the tops, mo the sort of modern tops designs. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, bizarre sort of illogical graphics going on. Um, I'm not, uh, dwelling on these too much. I'm more just interested in the impressions of them that I get. Um, Chase Headley, Billy Butler, Upside Down Buster Posey. Buster Posey is quite, uh, I don't know, like he's, he's, he makes good for a good baseball card. He's always doing something active or interesting. I mean, in this, he looks like a, like a firefighter running into, running into a fire or something. It just kind of, he always kind of looks pretty badass. And Sanchez. All right, let's see if we can't get these. Right side up. Eric Hosmer. Chris Davis, Nelson Cruz, Mike Trout. Home run leaders. All right. Nick Hundley. Let's take out the good ones and put them out, just like we do with Fairfield Friday. Nick Hundley awkwardly catching a foul pop-up. Poppy and the Prince. <laughs> what a weird idea. How did that get through uh, the whatever tops committees there are for deciding what goes on a baseball card? I just think that is such a bizarre card, bizarre theme. Really cool twins card, even though I'm not a huge team card guy. David Price, 
Dallas Keuchel, Sonny Gray, none of them are on the same team now. Um, Sonny Gray is on the Reds now. I don't know where Dallas is or if he is anywhere yet. Uh, Padres team card. Ben, these are all, for some reason, horizontal cards. Nice looking Joe Panic. Troy Two Lewitsky Perspectives. These cards are really nice, actually. Uh, really nice inserts. They remind me, to some extent, of the... Just, like, beautiful, ph simple photography of the stadium clubs or something like that. I like that card. I don't know much from Troy Two Lewitsky other than that he was... Wow, look at this cool card. Uh, I can't tell if that's an auto, an on-card auto, or a fake auto. Uh, I'd like to think it's real, but it's not numbered. Oh, this is this burger's best thing. <laughs> it's just a reprint. Um, I got, like, pretty excited there for a second. That's got to be a fake auto, right? This is a beautiful card. Look at look at Kershaw. He looks like a baby. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's fake. I don't remember. I don't remember what these cards look like. I can't tell, but uh, I think I'm not that lucky. Yeah, pretty nice card though. I like it. I really like the uh, uh, the the old timey look of this card it looks like he's not old timey but like sort of the throwbacky nostalgic image of kershaw it looks like he's like playing on a little league team almost all right here's houston street refractor kind of kind of cool card um i know i'm supposed to like this card it's kind of neat i don't know it's the, i like the water Put it out there. All right, here is Jake Arrieta throwing at a 100-year Wrigley Field anniversary. Also kind of a neat insert. Josh Harrison. Yasmani Tomas. Yunel Escobar. Here he is, Paul Goldschmidt. I'm super excited about Paul Goldschmidt now because he's on the Cardinals and they're trying to sign him to an extension already. Uh, let's put him out there. Let's see what else. Michael Conforto cup card. There's Matt Carpenter. Matt, literally Jesus Carpenter. Jose Fernandez, Matt Garza, Andrew Miller again. Marcin, Nick Marcakis just got re-signed by the Dodgers. Uh, Justin Turner. Adam Eaton. Freddie Freeman, Osuna, Osuna Future Stars, David Freeze, Scooter Jeanette, Justin Verlander, Alex Guerrero Future Stars, Matt Kane, Jonathan Scope, oops, and Doug Fister last. All right, so that's our Series 1. Let's move on to Series 2. It's fun to look at the 2016 because it's like right around when I was just getting back into um, watching baseball on TV, like following season by season. I hadn't been also involved. Like I would follow, I'd read about it in the news or whatever, see what the cards were doing. Um, so this is like right at that time. Here's a Joey Votto. Uh, Scott Van Slyke. I guess he's Andy Van Slyke's son. That's like a educated guess. Kike Hernandez, Jackie Bradley Jr., Brett Anderson, Will Myers, Colin McHugh, Marcus Stroman, uh, Robbie Ray, Josh Tomlinson, Brandon Geyer, Alexia Marista, Jeff Mathis, James Loney, Urshela, Escobar, 
Miguel Castro, Bartolo Colon. I don't know who this is, but his name is Rubby. Rubby De La Rosa, Johnny Cueto, Keon Broxton, rookie, Vizcaino, Michael Morse there on the Pirates, Matt Reynolds, Ryan Flaherty, Carlos Correa, Future Stars. That's a cool card, too. I like the Future Stars logo. I don't know if that's his, like... What do you think this is some kind of like oh i guess it's that smoke it looked like a smudge all right let's see what else jimmy nelson abraham Almonte, evan longoria jt rail muto future stars it'll be interesting to see where he ends up coming up here masahiro tanaka oh this is nice We've got a Marcel Ozuna, I don't know what they call this, like a gold parallel or something. I don't think it's going to be numbered. Oh, it is. It's numbered to 2016. Okay. 1982 to 2016. Out of 2016. Uh, Ozuna, really hoping bounces back this year. Uh, this is this these cool Griffey tribute to the kid inserts, which I really like too. Um, there's more cards in this that I like than I expected to like. Let's just put it that way. Um, here is a shiny looking Kelvin Herrera. I don't know if that would be numbered. It's numbered, in fact, to only 65, 35 of 65. I don't know much about Kelvin Herrera. Uh, but there is a cool uh, numbered Kelvin Herrera card. Yeah, I was hoping I get I'd get an, one of these Ichiro inserts. Chasing three thousand. Uh, very cool. Yeah, so Ichiro is like coming back in some kind of weird capacity with the Mariners now. Um, and there was just an article by um, I can't remember his first name. Justice something Justice. Um, that's really cool. All right. Look at this, McGuire. I have never seen... I didn't know what... I don't know what this is. Some, oh, this is a Burger's Best. That's why. Um, yeah, these Burger's Best inserts really trip you up. First with Kershaw and then with McGuire. All right, let's see what else. Uh, Mark Pryor pitching at Wrigley. Peterson. Gregorius. Shields. Cody Allen. A Marlins card, Carl Edwards. I'm just kind of going quick through these. Tanner Roark, Brett Wallace, Diamond. There's so many team cards in this. Jeez. Shane Peterson, Elias Diaz, and a team card to finish it off. All right. So far, so good, everyone. We'll do the update. Ortiz on the front. See if we get anything magical. Is that Grinky? Troy Ricard. Why why do the cards end up upside down? Urius, Chris Young, Godel. There's Dexter Fowler. We need him to bounce back super bad this year, too. We, St. Louis. Derek Law, rookie. Ian Kennedy. Candelario, Span. Fulmer, rookie debut. Helixson. Encarnacion. There's another Paul Goldschmidt. There's a second Paul Goldschmidt. I'll take it. Bud Norris really came through for the cards. Brett Lowry. Tommy Joseph. Eric Abar, Scott Shebler, another Michael Fulmer, Ramirez, Brock, I think he just got picked up by the Cubs the other day, Lobaton, uh, Arenado in his All-Star Game outfit, Brad Ziegler, Jake Arrieta in his All-Star Game outfit, 
Tyler Naquin. Kershaw in his All-Star Game outfit. Hyunsu Kim, rookie. Joaquim Soria. This is the second insert of a Royal. This one is numbered to 2016 uh, in this pack. I don't really have a lot of connection to the Royals. Uh, this is some kind of shiny-looking Royals pitcher. Three Royals pitcher. This is not numbered. Um, I will say, for, for however much I dislike the base set, I really like the inserts uh, of the 2016 tops. This is a sweet-looking Clemente 3000 Hits Club. They're doing the Ichiro thing. They're doing the tribute to the kid. There's all kinds of good stuff insert-wise. Um, so I will take it. This is a really weird Franklin Ryan Braun advertisement. Uh, not really sure what the point of that is. You know, this would be a really nice card if it didn't say Franklin across the top. All right, let's see what else. This is my Rediscover Tops waste of a card. Uh, Severino rookie, Corey Seager rookie, Mike Trout, all-star. Craig Kimbrell. Cornerstones. Uh, I think that's because they... It's Machado and uh, Davis, so it's like first and third, I suppose. Daniel Hudson. Chris Coughlin. Andrew Kashner. Matt Bush. Salvatore Perez. Chris Bryant. Max Scherzer. Jose Quintana. I rolled this Chapman. And a first pitch thrown out by Jake Gyllenhaal. Wow, I'm so glad I have this Jake Gyllenhaal baseball card. All right, let's try to get something just super awesome out of these archives baseballs. I'm excited about this. I have opened one pack of these, but just one. Uh, so I'm not like super familiar with what all is contained. I do know, however, that I really like the look of these cards. The throwback feel. Look at that, beautiful Sandy Koufax, beautiful Manny Machado, Arenado. It's like, you, you get no bad cards in this. Justin Bohr, that's okay. Tanaka, that's pretty good. Oh, we got a Sandlot. Weeks. I don't know what like what people think of these sandlot cards. It's a it's a really weird idea. Are they like numbered or anything? Like you just get them. They're just inserts. All right, I got a sandlot card. Congratulations. Uh, it's cool. I'll take it. Oh, an Acuna rookie. Uh, look at that. All right, we ended on a high note, I guess. Um, the 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 what these if you're if you're if you're still with me here. What these, these throwback cards tell me is it's almost, in, in my mind, an admission from Tops that we just can't make a card as good as we could in the 80s and 90s, mostly the 80s, frankly. Um, we get cards that have a lot of flash on them, have a lot of... Uh, Clearly had a lot of energy put into them. Rely on all of the latest photography and printing technology, but they just don't hold up. Uh, maybe that's me being uh, someone who collected in the junk era. I don't know, um, but I just don't. I, I don't get the same feel from the card. I don't know what to say. That's not to say they don't have anything to offer. Uh, I just think that by making these throwback cards. I mean, I know the audience is me for them. I'm not uh, deluded into thinking otherwise, but um, it's a personal preference, I suppose. Um, so I, I did like opening this archives pack uh, very, very much. I actually enjoyed a lot of the uh, tops 
2016 uh, jumbo packs as well. Uh, some cool stuff in there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, adventure and my little pickup and my little uh, pack break from Midtown Comics. See you next time.